How's it going everyone? I'm finally making an update video on my alternate art binder collection. I have some cards that I have added that I didn't realize were alternate arts or even know they existed for that matter and some of the newer sets. So we're going to start off by acknowledging these trainer gallery cards here. I do not consider all, any trainer gallery card an alternate art as well as this Shining Legends Mewtwo, the 2-1 here. I don't consider that an alternate art. But what I do consider alternate arts are these A symbol marked cards. So the whole entire Hidden Fates shiny set is going to be in here. We're going to start off with the XY Premium Trainer Collection box that released with all these promos you're going to see here. Lucario is one of my favorites. We got a nice Aegislash. Shaman, also one of the best ones in this set. Personally, I like Trainer N the most. I'm not always a huge fan of trainer cards, but for some reason, I love this. Love, love, love that trainer end card. All right, moving on to the next page. We got Shauna, another favorite from that trainer box. Jirachi. This kind of reminds me of trainer gallery cards. Really cool. Yavelto. Karen. And then ending on the last two mega cards. So moving along here, we don't have anything too crazy. I'm not, I don't remember exactly where all these cards came from. But soon, we're going to move into the Sun and Moon era. All right. And starting off with the first alternate art is this awesome Eevee here. An alternate art of the Sun and Moon version. We've got a Sandshrew, Vulpix, Garbodor, lovely card. This Charmander is awesome. So we got the General Mills promo, or it was McDonald's. I can't really remember. And then we got the regular Cosmos Hollow. We got a nice swirl there. Oh, for the Clara. Very cool. Porygon Z. Reggie Gigas and Executor. Okay, Sceptile, Altaria, and Tapu Koko. So that ends it for the Pokemon. Now we move into the trainer cards. These, a lot of these came in the trainer toolkits, if I remember correctly, like Poke Gear. I remember getting out of a out of a toolkit. And now we're moving into some of the some of the cards that I forgot to add or didn't even know existed for that matter. So we got Pokemon League cards. Very cool. Reverse hollows, but soon we're going to get into some staff promos. And man, I I didn't realize that they were out there and they were super expensive too. So we're going to start off with the Ultra Ball. So here is the new, some of the, we're getting into the new stuff now. We got the Ultra Ball, the League Cup, and here is the staff promo. So surprising, this is actually a very expensive card. All these staff cards really racked up the price of this binder. So we got a Beast Ring. And then we got the Beast Ring Staff. This came in the 2019 the Tournament Poke Gear Staff. Cherish Ball with the Staff as well. And now we move into the, the placement cards. We got first, second, and third Acerola. Super, or, and fourth place. Super cool. And then we got some more Trainers. Moving into some more. My favorite here are the Staff Promos. They're actually the world championship ones. Here they are, starting off with Guzma. <laughs> really awesome artwork. I think the artwork is super underrated. These cards aren't very well known. I didn't even know they existed. They are alternate arts, and we got the staff promo there. We have Cynthia. Super awesome card. Lo look at that artwork. It's so great. And I always like to zoom back. Looks really cool, all of the cards there. All right, next page is going to end with the most expensive one, this Lily Staff right here. This card, I checked it a couple weeks ago. It sold on eBay for 300 bucks. Super rare and expensive. Then we got Welder as well. And now we get into the GXs and Full Arts. We only had a couple GXs, and some of them aren't even... They don't have alternate art for some reason. They just have the symbol and some hollow foil where the other cards didn't, like this dark eye right here. And then we got an Entei and Guzzlord. Now we move into the full arts. These, This one came in the Trainer's Toolkit, and this was like a Black Friday exclusive. And then with the tag team starting off, we got this. This was in a Target exclusive box, and then everything else was like tins and stuff like that. So we got... Celebi and Venusaur, Pikachu and Zekrom, Eevee and Snorlax. I like how Snorlax, Snorlax is always eating or sleeping. Mewtwo and Mew, Lucario and Melmetal, Garchomp, Giratina, 
the Reshizard. Reshizard, this is the set. I got back into Pokemon around 2019 when Unbroken Bonds came out. So I remember seeing this in GameStop. Moltres, Zapdos, and Articudo, the Stained Glass. Trevino, uh, Dusknor and Trevenant. This card is the only alternate art to not come to English. This was in the Japanese set. I can't remember exactly which one, but it's Sun and Moon 12A. The only one that we did not get in English. And we got Venusaur, Snivy, Charizard, and Brakeson. Moving into Eevee, and then Espeon, and Umbreon and Darkrai. So those are the end of the promos for the Sun and Moon era. We now move into team up starting off with this magic carp in waylord i love how he's just flying out of the water magic carp what a beautiful artwork beautiful card beautiful artwork moving into gengar and mimikyu this team up set had the least amount of alternate arts only had three it's gengar and mimikyu and then latios and latios this is one of the most expensive cards it has shot up in price when i bought this i bought i paid 200 for the card i think it's worth about 400 now in the mint condition i have it it grades if it grades a 10 it's worth thousands super awesome card moving into unbroken bonds the set that got me back into collecting not nothing too crazy for these ones here but still cool they're really cheap so if you ever want to pick up an alternate art i would suggest starting off with these two they're going to be some of the cheaper ones marshadow and machamp awesome greninja and zoroark and then my favorite gardevoir and sylveon i love that card all right Unified Minds. Now we got Rowlet and Alolan Executor chilling on the beach. Super cool card. Slowpoke and Psyduck with a shelter biting his tail. I love that one. Raichu and, Al or, and Alolan Raichu, one of my favorites. And then my favorite card from the set, Mega Sableye and Tyranitar. Now you can see we move into the Shining Fate subset. They all have the alternate art mark. So I did. I had to include them. I had to. We got Charmander, Charmeleon, and I'll go pretty quick through this one because you guys didn't come here to see the Shining Fate subset, but we'll go over them all briefly here. Going over some of my favorites, like this Lucario here, you can actually see his miscut. I, I just find that funny. I'm not a huge air collector, but it is, it is a cool little miscut card there. And then we got Katana. Moving into the rest of the shinies, Altaria. I'm looking for the Eevee. There he is. I, that's one of my favorite shinies right there, the Eevee. Such a cool card. Swablu, always fun to say. Type Null. And then we get into the beautiful full arts, starting off with Leafeon. And then, of course, we got the beautiful shiny Charizard. This card, when it first came out, was so fun. Everyone was so hyped over it loved chasing that card i never pulled it i had to buy it myself i opened up so many packs of hidden fates and my luck was just never there with that card beautiful articuno lovely card and then we move into the rest we got the mewtwo and espion this card has gone up in value as well lucario super awesome card this set is so good when you have it in a binder complete the shiny subset it looks fantastic umbreon then we move up to Darkrai, Scizor, or Scissor, Kartana, beautiful Sylveon, and Gardevoir, Noivern, lovely cards. Then we move into the Trainers. We got Cynthia, Fisherman, Guzma, Hiker, and Lady. Nothing too crazy for the Trainers. I'd say Cynthia is the coolest one with that Garchomp and Lucario there. And the Gold cards. These were always fun to open when they first came out. Beautiful Tapu Bulu, Tapu Fini, Tapu Coco, and Tapu Lele. And then ending on, ending the Shining Fates, or Hidden Fates set, we got the promos. The awesome Rayquaza, you guys know that one's expensive. Zorak, Metagross, and then we move into Cosmic Eclipse, starting off with Vulpix and Blastoise and Piplup. Oh, I love this card, along with these two. And then we got Solgaleo and Lunala. Arceus, Dialga, and Palkia. This card is one of the those that are just so expensive and so beautiful. They have they're expensive for a reason. That's the thing about Pokemon cards. Whenever a card's expensive, it's for a reason. It's because the artwork's amazing. Uh, this one is probably my favorite though. For some reason, Trainer N just looks great in the alternate art, especially with Zekrom and Reshiram back there. Um, this one I always love the artwork in the background. 
And the last two for the Sun and Moon era, we got Megalopony Jigglepuff and Sil Valley GX. Now we move into, honestly, the best alternate art era so far, the Sword and Shield. We're starting off with Battle Styles, a set that a lot, a lot of people like, but I personally really enjoyed opening up this set and chasing. There he is, my Tyranitar. I love this card. This is my top five favorite alternate arts for me right there. Tyranitar looking so full. <laughs> I always call them messing around like the drunk Tyranitar as well. Then we got the Urshifus, the Single Strike and Rapid Strike. This card used to be crazy expensive. It's gone down quite a bit. Moving on to Chilling Rain, Ice Rider, Calyrex, Zorora. I love this one. And the Rapidash. The thing is, I could just say I love all these. It's I, I could go, I love this one. I love this one because I do. They're all just so great. Shadow Rider, Calyrex. This seems to be the one. I've pulled this card like five times. Out of all the cards in Chilling Rain, I, I think I've pulled this one the most. And we got the Galarian Zapdos, Roadrunner card, Galarian Moltres, Galarian Slowking, Blissey, Tornadus V, Blaziken VMAX. That's one of my favorite as well. Oh, it's just so cool. I remember seeing that card when it first came out. It's one of those where it's like, yeah, I need it. Ice Rider Calyrex, ending on the Shadow Rider Calyrex. And now the set that is still super hyped up. I think the best set in the Sword and Shield era. I don't know if they'll ever be able to top this. We got Evolving Skies. Starting off with Leafeon, Glaceon, and Espeon. What more can I say? Look at that artwork. What more can I say? Golurk, one of the cheaper alt arts. So if you're looking to pick up one alt art, we got, got one of the cheaper ones. Sylveon V, Metachamp V, Umbreon, oh my gosh, that card is great. And Dragonite, one of my personal favorites. I I've pulled this card and this Rayquaza here. Two lovely, lovely cards. We got the Batman Noivern, Duraludon V with some cake, and now the VMAXs. Oh, these cards, they're unbelievable. I, I can't wait to see what else VMAX alternate arts they come out with, and I can't wait to add them to my binder. Let me know, you guys, what card would you like to see have an alternate art and then we got the big one right there that's the most expensive card i've sold so many of these cards at ridiculous prices and it's for a good reason it's the best art we've gotten so far it looks amazing and then we got Ray rayquaza duraludon and then the promos that came out in those evolution premium boxes nice vaporeon jolteon and then we move into Fusion Strike. Another one of those sets that wasn't too popular, but the alternate arts in here are great. We got Celebi V, Mew. <laughs> There's so much going on in that card. I love it. Sandaconda V, Break Dancing Genesect. All right, moving on to the last couple pages here, you guys. We got Greedent V, Inteleon VMAX, Mew VMAX. Espeon, one of the best ones. Gengar, <laughs> one of my personal top five for me, Gengar VMAX. And here's another top five, Charizard V. We move on to Brilliant Stars. One of the best sets as well. I'd say this is the second best set in my opinion. Brilliant Stars was so much fun to open and there's so many great cards like this Arceus alternate art. Beedrill, Hesillian, Lilligant. And now we got the new stuff. We got Astral Radiance. We got beautiful origin form Palkia, Machamp V, Hisuian Sneasler, origin form Dialga, and then the last two we got here. We got the po new Pokemon Go Mewtwo alternate art and the ending on that one. There we go. That's all of them, you guys. So I'll back up a little bit here and I'll get a nice little shot at the end so you guys can take a nice look at everything at once. These pages together here like this i mean look at that shot there's so much artwork on one page on one screen it's unbelievable i take very good care of these cards as well a lot of these so i'm a ebay seller and i buy collections all the time what i do is i swap out ones that have chances of like psa 10 or better conditions so all the cards in here are in such amazing shape and they're worth grading oh that that hidden fates it it's it's top-notch top-notch 
And then we'll, we'll go fast through those shiny ones there, get onto the, back onto the alternate arts. The Sun and Moon, always love that card. Again, let me know what your favorite card is out of this whole binder. It's really hard for me to pick a favorite one, but it has it probably is the Umbreon VMAX from Evolving Skies for me. I just love that card. This page also looks really cool with all the trainers. These are this is a whole new section that I added to the binder. Um, someone left a comment on the YouTube video that I posted previously saying I was missing all of the 2019 promos for the tournament. I was like, oh man, you're right. I didn't even know they existed. All right, you guys. So that's going to be it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. The last one did great, and I'm sure this one will as well. Thank you all again. Let me get to the Involving Skies page real quick because I love it so much. We got to end on that that Van Gogh, I like to call it, Ombreon VMAX. There he is. Thank you guys so much for all the support. And we're almost going to hit 1,000 subscribers. So thank you all again, and have a good day or night. Later.